How do we generate the lengths of these three ridges on the ground from a set of drawings before we stack the roof? You can see that the main ridge starts, these two hips converge in the back and runs all the way to the gable end, which might run a little bit beyond that to pick up the barge rafter like these two ones are doing. So here you have three ridges and we want to calculate the lengths of them. And the answer is you look at the set of drawings. Now this is a, a drawing of the major framing components in this roof. The rest is just fill. We don't worry about it. We want to get this section up. So now you can see here, this ridge runs from here all the way to where it runs into the supporting valley there. This one, same thing from outside of wall to supporting valley. Let's start with this one here. You'll see it's two right triangles. If you were to take this span and divide it in half, that would give you the length of this ridge here because whatever happening this way, it's happening this way, right? So, and that's, it's called the theoretical length of the ridge. It actually runs all the way over to the center line of this supporting valley. And in plan view, the 45 thickness, once again, of a two by is two and an eighth, and half of that is an inch and a sixteenth. So, the actual length would be an inch and a sixteenth less than the theoretical length, which is the length drawn on this set of drawings here, which is half the span. Now what about this one's a little bit more complicated. Here's the wall running beneath it there, see? This wall is running beneath it, wouldn't always be there. How do we calculate this length? And the answer is the same thing. Half the span, because there's this section here, this right triangle here, half the span is the run plus this plate length. So it starts from here, runs back, and then continues on. So half the span plus the plate length minus the inch and sixteenth deduction for the supporting valley right there. So plate length plus half the span minus an inch and a sixteenth. Plate length plus half the span, which is this, which is the same as this. So essentially this, and then we jump over to here minus this deduction here. Now, how about the main one? Well, same thing. Half the span, even though we don't know where this span is out here, it doesn't matter, we have the run. That's why this is a major framing component that we always want to put in there and whenever we can. Sometimes it doesn't stack just like this. You can still draw this line though. Half the span, which is the run, you know, first you take the overall length and subtract half the span, which is the run. And then up here, you have to add a little bit more. So it's, you'll see this right here this is the connection. The theoretical length is from here is actually right there. So you have to add half the thickness of this common rafter, not stacked very tight. This common rafter is an inch and a half thick, and the framing point is the center line of common rafter, the center line of ridge, and the center line of the two hips, and they make this X. It's actually an asterisk. Half the thickness of the common rafter is where the hip would stack. 
So back over at the drawing, you can see that's the theoretical framing point, or is the framing point. Half the thickness of the common rafter. So the overall building length minus the run plus half the thickness of the common rafter will give you this main ridge length. Yeah.